hello there. Um, this video is about the day I was made redundant. Now it's not, this bit of it's not at all scripted um, because I just want it to be um, sort of um, just a sort of raw video about the day that I was made redundant. Now if you can see movement in the background, that's my dogs. I've got three Springer Spaniels, Freya, Fern and Fleur. <laughs> and um, they've been lounging around on the sofa after our walk this morning, but because I have changed position, they have decided to come and investigate. So if you can hear noises, they've come over to say hello. Anyway, yes, going back to the day I was made redundant. Now this was back in 2019. I'd been at a school for, it was a primary school in Devon, and I'd been there for two and a half years. Two of those years was supporting um, a child with um, a lot of needs. Um, this child refused to be in the classroom for the first six months that I was working with them. Um, but that child left because it was, uh, you know, a huge success story. Um, it was a complete team effort, um, and that child left the school uh, because he their parents had moved house and they were relocating. So the school kept me on, um, which I was very pleased about, um, because as you know, many of us lose our jobs when we're working one-to-one -one because the funding disappears, but the school kept me on. Um, and uh, that was great. But I was warned that redundancy was possibly uh, down the line. Um, but do you know what? I was pretty confident in my abilities and I thought, nah, that's not going to happen. <laughs> anyway, a few months later, I was, we were, we, we were told that we were going to have various meetings about our roles. Um, and so, so I felt quite confident that, you know, I would just be told where I was going to be the next, um, academic year. Uh, but uh, I was called in with another member of staff um, and there were three members of senior management, including including the head teacher, uh, waiting in the room. And quite quickly, both, both of us, both of us that went in that day were told that we were being made redundant. <laughs> um, and uh, it felt pretty devastating, to be honest. Um, it had not happened to me before. Uh, I had been working as a teaching assistant uh, for nearly 20 years and <laughs> redundancy was not on my radar because I believed I was an excellent teaching assistant. Um, so this video is, is for you if it's something that you worry about um, and it's for you if you would like to know how to deal with it. So so this is my little introduction to that. Um, I'm going to finish this part of the video now and uh, cut to the part of the video that will tell you what to do if this happens to you. Um, because it is pretty devastating, to be honest. Um, it's... Uh, I don't know. It, I think all the things that you believe are negative about yourself come crashing down on you <laughs> when you're told you've, you know, you've been made redundant or you're going to be made redundant. Um, unusually for me, I actually saw out my entire notice. I mean, I, this, I don't know. I think I was told in the, in the May or the early June. So I worked until the very last day of term in July, um, which is unusual for me. I'll do another video about that, about my checkered past in uh, not actually <laughs> seeing out my notice. Um, but uh, yes, so for now, I will just leave it at that, that know that it, it you know, it's happened to me. Um, if it's going to happen to you, uh, no, you're not alone. And I am the next part of the video, I'm going to talk about some tips that will help you get through it and, you know, see it as a good thing. Okay, see you in the next part of the video.
Okay, so um, being made redundant is sadly all too familiar situation in schools. And I've just told you about my experience with it and, how, and now I want to help those of you facing it too with some tips that got me through. So redundancy tip one, take some time out. For me, the news of redundancy really made me feel down and walking back into class behaving as if everything was fine was very tricky, particularly since there was a senior member of staff there and I was pretty much convinced that she knew what I'd been told. <clears throat> uh, and... To make matters worse, I was told on a Wednesday morning. So the thought of trying to get through until Friday afternoon really wasn't very palatable. So the next morning I phoned in and said I'd take unpaid leave and would be back on Monday, uh, by which time I'd adjusted to the news and felt more optimistic. Now, if you can't afford to do that, I think there is probably isn't much anyone could say if you just phoned in sick. Um, I'm not telling you to do that because you, you've got to work out what's the best thing in your own situation. But I'm just flagging it up as something you can consider doing for your own mental well-being. It certainly helped me. Redundancy tip two. Your job is redundant, not you. So your job may no longer exist, but the skills and experience you've developed are still highly valuable. So focus on what you've learned and how it can transfer to other roles. And I have got other videos on this channel. I've got PDFs in my Etsy shop um, about transferable skills. Uh, and I'll happily put a link to those resources in the description section below this video. Redundancy tip three, don't take it personally. So redundancy is a business decision and not a reflection of your performance or worth. It's important to separate your identity from the job. And remember that this situation doesn't define your abilities or value as a person. And going back to my previous tip, whenever you talk about the situation, make a conscious effort to say, my job has been made redundant, rather than I have been made redundant. It's a subtle shift, but it does help the brain to work out, no, it's not me, it's the job. The job doesn't exist anymore um, because of budget cuts. It's not you. Redundancy tip four, see it as an opportunity for growth. So redundancy can be the push that leads to, some, to something new, perhaps something even better. Use this time to reflect on what you truly want in your career and explore new possibilities. It's your chance to make some changes that if you're honest with yourself, you probably wouldn't have set in motion without your current job being made redundant. And the thing is, that's it's. I I did do one more job for a very short while after I was made after my job was made redundant, um, but actually I realised that I needed to be doing something very different, and that is why I'm doing what I'm doing now. Redundancy tip five: Stay connected with your colleagues. So maintaining relationships with colleagues, teachers and other support staff can open up new opportunities and provide emotional support during this transition. So stay in touch once you leave, if that's what you'd like to do, because if you've enjoyed working at school, you never know when another opportunity to work there again will come up. And if you've just sort of severed all connections, then that will be tricky. And Feel free to join my TA in Control Facebook group where you'll be very welcome and you'll find lots of great advice. Again, I'll put a link to it in the description section below this video. Redundancy tip six, prioritise self-care. Redundancy 
can be very, very stressful. So it's important to take care of your mental and physical well-being. That means prioritising rest and relaxation and activities that boost your confidence and resilience. Now, many of us have grown up seeing other adults put on a brave face, which in itself isn't a bad thing because it enables people to carry on with their day to day responsibilities. But it can be a bad thing if you don't acknowledge that the news of redundancy is impacting negatively on how you feel temporarily. And you need to acknowledge that and treat yourself with kindness. Um, You know, I I think we tend to roll our eyes when we see um, words like self-care, but it is really, really important. And it's why the couple of days off after I was made redundant, after my job was made redundant, I see how ingrained that is in us to say after I was made redundant, after my job was made redundant, um, to have a couple of days off where I could just, you know, draw a line under it and come back on Monday and just get on with things. Um... You know, that 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 was self-care and it did help. Also, I started leaving on time as well. <laughs> I thought, what are they going to do, sack me? So I started leaving on time, um, not getting in so early in the morning, all those kind of things and not, not doing extra work at home. That's what I started doing. Um, and that all kind of made me feel better about the situation, as well as moving on and, and, and thinking about other things that I was able to do. So I hope this video has helped. Know that you are not alone in this and that soon you will look back and see it as a good thing. I know it doesn't feel like that right now, but it will. Take it from someone who has been there. Lots of love.